what is this? It's crazy. Look at this thing. Before we get there, let me just tell you what we did before. So we were doing an experiment. It's called a homing experiment. In this experiment, we catch bees from a hive. We mark them with different colors and we release them far from the hive. And then we measure the time it takes them to navigate back to their hive. It's a very useful experiment for different things. We'll get to this in another video. But while we were catching the bees, we found this little bee. If you look at the back of this bee on the abdomen, you can see this weird little black thing sticking out, right? At the beginning, it looked like a dirt or something like that. But then from a closer look, it seems like it's sticking out of the body itself. So I decided to take it inside and take a closer look at it. Here I am just uh, adjusting the, the sample, the bee died, and I'm just adjusting the sample with the compound binocular. This is how it looks like uh, before we start magnifying the bee and look, taking a closer look at it. Um, connected the screen in order for you to see what I'm seeing. I'm sorry if the quality is not that great. Uh, the focus will get better soon. Uh, so this is the black uh, thing that I talked about earlier. And this is what I want to dive in deeper and see what's going on there. Is it an insect? Is it uh, dirt? What, what is it? So um, if we look closely, you can see that this weird thing has uh, three pairs of legs, which is uh, characteristics uh, of insects in general. Uh, so I tried to pull the whole thing out. I didn't want to rip it apart and be, because I won't see what's going on inside. Um, so I had to be careful and gentle. Here I am using uh, forceps in order to pull it out gently. Uh, eventually I managed to pull it out and then I'm going to put it aside and take a closer look at the rest of the body. So, um, anyhow, so now you will see it up close. You'll see what's going on there. Uh, focus, focus, focus the thing. Cool. Now we're going to just magnify it. No, other way. Cool. So. Here at the top left, you can see the head. This is the head. And how do we know it's the head? Because it has these mouth parts, right? The head is shaped like an arrow tip. Like it's the head of an arrow that is meant to go into tight, uh, small spaces. And if we look at the mouth parts, these two little hooks that are meant, I believe, to secure this insect to the body of its um, of the host, right? And if we look closely, you can see the head. At the end of the head, you have these three little uh, hairs on both sides. I believe that the, this is part of the mechanism that helps it uh, um, that helps it stay in place while the bee is flying around. So it's very interesting. I've never seen something like this and I've never heard about it before. I asked some people, no one knew what it is. Um, so please let me know if you've seen it before, if you know what this is. Is this bad for honeybees? Is it bad for beekeeping? Um, or in general, do, do you know anything about it? Now I'm just going to take a look at the whole body, see the uh, the three pairs of legs. Um, we know that insects are characterized by three segments of the body where you have the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. And they have three pairs of legs sticking out of the thorax and uh, uh, two antennas. So with these three parameters, we can say if this is an insect or arthropod like a spider or scorpion or whatever. Um, so yeah, if you know anything about it, please let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, 
and want to see more, hit the subscribe, hit the like, and stay in tune for the next video. Thank you all.